episode three of PatCast. We're sitting here with Sean and Brandon from Euphony, and it is Woo-hoo. raining like a motherfucker outside. So if you hear that static, it's not static, it's rain. Um, so who's everybody? Obviously, Corey, do vocals for Pat the Human. Austin, do bass for Pat the Human. Steven, I play the guitar, Pat the Human. Uh, Ramon, drums for Pat the Human. And Brandon is in our band, too. Hey. Hey, it's Brandon here. Uh, guitar for Euphony. And this is Sean. I play guitar. <laughs> yeah, so well, you guys were going to be on the last one, but oh, bullshit fell through, and it's much better because today we were sitting in the rain with using Brandon shit. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Sounds better. Yeah. But um, I don't know. What do you think we should talk about first? How about... Uh, New euphony compared to old euphony. Yes. That's that. something kind of important. Well, <laughs> the, uh, that, that's I, it. I guess the newer stuff is a little bit um, more structured. There's not as, uh, the older stuff we kind of focused more on how many parts we could cram into three minutes and 30 seconds instead of uh, how we could structure the song and make it uh, an actual song. So. We've been kind of working on uh, making the songs more structured, more, you know, built like an yeah, actual Yeah, basically, song. like, the songs are better structured, and we're focusing more on the songs being more vocally driven, as opposed to super technical and mainly musically driven. I feel like the vocals have usually always been just decent. Isn't there something really special about the vocals, though, that it's changed? Uh, you well, have an announcement well, that you're going yeah, like, to make guess, an You guys are, are we announcing a new so member, So we're going right? to make an announcement yeah. this weekend. Yeah, we'll actually uh, be announcing a new addition to uh, the band. It's uh, a second bass player. S- <laughs> it could be a second bass player. We actually a have second drummer, Second right? drummer, yeah. <laughs> we have two Jeff's drummers. Jeff's just not cutting it. <laughs> Jeff's out. Fuck, <laughs> that rain is He's loud. Yeah, that rain's really fucking God loud. God damn. Well, the rain Might have is... to edit a lot of this shit out. That's actually not rain. That's a pause because we're in a huge convention center in front of thousands loop. of people. Uh, they all love us. So, yeah. So, like, what, you guys on December in December are doing a uh, Get You Finny a fucking a van show, right? Yeah, we're doing a benefit oh. show December 3rd with um, Set the Sun, Even Cameras Lie, Arbor View, outside the camp, and some other band. I don't. Where's it at? It's at. Uh, it's same at the place we're banned from. Thirty two oh one. Yeah. Yes. Thirty two oh one. Yeah. Yeah. That they sucks, cor- you guys they, they cordially invited us to play that show, but uh, we're, not allowed. we're not allowed because they said fuck. We said Aaron fuck said in no. a church, and I guess churches don't like when you say fuck in it. Um, <laughs> Stephen, what are you whining about? What? We have uh, spillage in the place. Like spillage. I, Party Brandon top. Crabtree, have spilt my uh, beverage. Opposed to like the last few times we've spilt over here. It's okay. <laughs> Brand's a fucking pussy ass bitch. And fuck you, Ramon. I was trying to help you. God well, damn fuck it. Fuck off. Well, that sucks. So, <laughs> what what have you guys been listening to? Locally first. Do you guys listen to anything locally? You can lie. It's fine. Well, the only thing we really listen to is. Uh, Pat the Human. That's about the only thing in our CD player. As I said, I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird because we all um, don't really listen to stuff that... Don't listen to too much music? No. No music at all. <laughs> well, most of the music we listen to isn't really the style of it's music like that we play. It's kind of weird. You know what? That's the most professional thing you could ever say. Yeah. I don't listen to music. I just make it. Exactly. <laughs> makes you, you sound like an asshole. <laughs> so any any non local oh, sarcasm, Austin. Shut the fuck up. Right now. Any non local inspiration for the new for the new jamage? Maybe um, some subliminal info. Um, uh, I guess. Some subliminal. I like the new o sleeper. I think the new o sleeper. New o sleeper. Badass. New Memphis Mayfire is sick as shit. Yeah, New Memphis Mar- May- Ma- 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 <laughs> New Memphis Mayfire. Marfus Mainmire. Marfus Mainmire. Love him. <laughs> I like Ryan. He's a good guy. Yeah, uh, new, design, song. new Design the Skyline album oh, was pretty man. fucking sick. <laughs> King of music. Dude, I literally, me and Brandon watched their uh, music video or whatever. The really shitty one? The, the super the, shitty one? Yeah, the super shitty one. And 
like I, th I think it like fucked with my head because the next day like we couldn't we tried to write and we just couldn't <laughs> <laughs> design the skyline gave us writer's block that's yeah, how awesome much. they are they, they stole all your ideas yeah. and put it in one we song we were just like wait that's our music and we just we, just we wrote up. that exact song <laughs> so we started listening to Aerosmith and started copying riffs <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're pretty much like the epitome of how shitty the just music has gotten and how a band like that. Granted, Victory. Is it Victory? They're on Victory? Yeah, yeah. Victory. Of course they're on Victory. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. I mean, Victory is not the label that it used to be. No, definitely not. Victory sucks now. Yeah. If you, I hope uh, uh, Victory executive listens to this one day. So you're fucking terrible. Kill yourself. And just got, just on the skyline. I, hope both I mean, what happened to them? They used to have, like, what, fucking uh, Between and Bear to Me? Yeah. And, uh, uh, old Treyu when they were yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Isn't the Day to Remember still on Victory? I think so. I don't, I don't know. No. Um, I think Epitaph, maybe? Yeah. I, Every I time I die is on Epitaph, right? Yeah. yeah. Any good bands on Epitaph, bring, usually. Bring Me the Let Horizon, live. I think, is on Epitaph. And a Shikari, now? Yeah. So have you all heard the new uh, Animals as Leaders? Amazing. I haven't yeah. heard it. It's amazing. It's pretty good. I don't have... It's quite incredible. I'm pretty much at my girlfriend's all the time, and she doesn't have cable or internet, and I don't have a phone, Welcome so I'm, like, completely disconnected Living in the, the 70s over You're there. there. It's off the grid. The 70s. It's completely <laughs> off the grid right now. Yeah, I mean... I don't they're know. Very, they're actually, they're very <laughs> I, I, Definitely. I have a, a question, though. Like, you know, a bunch of the tracks so far as I've... I, uh, oh, Jeff's here. Oh, here hey, comes oh, Jeff. New addition to the, the Patcast. <laughs> After all this noise. Yeah! We have... <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeff. dickhole. It's raining. We hey, have look, Jeff, Jeff the drummer. Jeff Arlen just entered the room. Euphony's uh, drummer. Yes. He's covered in blood. He is covered all in cut up. semen and blood right now. The new announcement wasn't for anyone Jeffrey else, the Butcher. just a new drummer. Welcome. They're kicking it Jeff was, out. It was they, they killed Jeff. They killed Jeff. We actually uh, hit up Victory and uh, found the drummer from Dis Design the Skyline. He's <laughs> <laughs> jamming with us now. So <laughs> Jeff's out. He's just here to sit in on the on the Pat cast because we're still cool. There's no hard beef. <laughs> <laughs> what have right. you guys been listening to? Uh, Fuck. I don't know. I, I, I don't. The new Sparrows. Oh, the new Sparrows. Just came CD, out yesterday. Which they talked about. It's pretty good. When they were here. It's, it's fucking pretty awesome. Oh, it, just came, it just came out? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I they released it last night. They didn't oh, yeah. wait for us, so if you're listening to this, thank you guys for um, ruining that. And it's completely free, so. It is completely free. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I haven't, I haven't heard it yet. Satan would want you to do that. <laughs> because I'm disconnected from the world. Rad. Jeff listened to it today. Pretty rad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright, so I have a question. It's completely uh, not music based. But, um, what is like the weirdest thing have you ever like taught like your mom or your parents? Like, taught? Taught them. Yeah, like something that you would like. Talk to them about? I, like, teach your parents something. Like, what would you. You taught your parents something? Yeah. Um, I, I taught my me. mom. I find that hard to believe. I, I taught, taught my, my dad how not to live in my house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Like le recently, I taught my mom how to shuffle. How to shuffle? Yeah. Shuffle. Yeah. It was weird. Because you've been listening to that fucking. Uh, yeah, I listened to uh, Party Rock Anthem. Party Rock is in the house. Hey, Ramon, you're a faggot. No, well, that song's awesome. That song's and you're a bitchy. faggot, Corey, too. Oh, that's why you don't have any friends, Steven. Yeah. So, I taught my Steven. parents about exactly. the 9 uh, the 11 truth. Ooh. What's up? about the, how yeah, crappy our government is. They thought that Brandon, our government actually I wish cared I could hear us. you over there! Not true. It's like a it's fucking hurricane walls. outside. I know. Yeah, Holy you shit. You hear that fucking standing Can ovation? Can you hear that? Yeah. Is it really loud? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, should we just stop? I mean, I can essentially, I can hear everybody over it, but you can still hear it in the background. Yeah, but it's a bit annoying. Like, yeah, it's probably going to be really annoying. <laughs> it's raining, everyone. It's raining men outside. Jesus Christ. Wow. So should we wait like five minutes? Probably. Yeah. Let's <laughs> wait. And that is the sound hey, of a five-minute intermission. All right. All right, Noises by Jeff Harlan. Noises Go! Jeff Harlan. The debut album. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it on the spot. new EP. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jeff, 
and Steven. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Jeff and Steven duet. <laughs> this is pretty fucking loud, though. So how about some questions to Pat the Human? Oh. All right, that's, that's, oh. what about. that's cool. What are you guys listening to lately? What about uh, that? At all cost. At all cost. Hell yeah, back in Forever. 06. We're back Forever. in 06. <laughs> Get back together. I just uh, uh, start listening to the new Childish Gambino. The new what? Childish Gambino. I know, you were literally across the room and I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Five minute yeah. break. Keep it continuing. Re- and try to do as much as we can without blowing. Oh no. It's kind of right, hard because I can only hear half the fucking room. Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> Jews. <laughs> Mexicans. <laughs> White people. <laughs> Black people. <laughs> Asian people. <laughs> I don't, I can't even think of something to say. I'm, this rain is so distracting. So I don't. I guess. Um, so what Jeff, do you guys what do you guys think about this uh, Occupy stuff that's going on? I don't even know what it's about. Well, Sean, what do you think about it? I I've, I've been disconnected from the world. All I know is that there's been like protests and shit outside of like Wall Street. What your on? Yeah, what what is your emotional oh, feeling yeah, on it though? From what I know, I honestly don't know that much about it. I mean, I know it's a giant group of people protesting about I love protesting. We're trying to get the, the Wall Street. Trying bullshit. to get the blacks out of America. Great fan. Great fan. What? Damn, I guess I'm leaving. Trying to get all the blacks out of America. That's why you were there. <laughs> yeah, that's why you showed up. Me and Alex Jones. Yeah. And we gotta, got, we gotta get the blacks out of America. <laughs> Listen, we have an announcement, wait, everyone. Conspiracy. Oh, we have an announcement. What's that? Jeff Harlan just tuning. <laughs> yeah. Because of that. True. Because of that offense, Jeff, you're banned from this podcast. Get the fuck out of here. Get your toots Back in, in your the rain, fucking, motherfucker. Toots. So, okay, so uh, what's, it, what's everybody been listening to lately, musically? We already talked about that. We already covered that, covered that, that man. Here. You're out. Oh, we already went over this. I must have missed that. Between well, Jeff, what, what are you is yours? What are you listening to, Jeff? I, what I is yours? The Animals is Leaders album. That's really what you want to say, is Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Um, why do they have all that, like, 8-bit electronic shit going on? Why not? You mean that stuff that's at the beginning of our CD? That's <laughs> on the beginning, not actual beginning of tracks left and right. Except for that one track. One, two, three, four. Why do you guys have one guitarist? Who fucking does that these days? <laughs> that's all we need. <laughs> why, do you guys have a white, why do you guys have a white drummer? Yeah, what the fuck's that? <laughs> what the fuck? Get with the times. <laughs> Man. Ramon's whiter than I am, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Race war. <laughs> Race war. What's the, last, what's the last fucking movie you saw that was awesome, blew your mind, and you, you need people to see? And Empire. Not, not garbage. Empire? Empire. What is that? It's about this Mexican guy who's dealing drugs. Not and then, like, He decides to start I'm investing money with investment companies <laughs> and then gets totally fucked over. Does it have, like, um, awesome. who stars in it? got the Mexican guy from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine John Leguizamo. Blew <laughs> my mind. Oh, wait, the I ninth butch- one came out? I always butcher his name. John Leguizamo. Blew my mind. Leguizamo. Have you guys seen the Avengers trailer? Yeah, hell fucking no. yeah. No? I like Iron Dude, I'm I like- so stoked about that. I know, me too. <laughs> me too. I like Iron Man and Iron Man 2, but that's about it. The new Avengers looks fucking sick. Like it really does. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's better than G.I. Joe. I haven't seen that. I'm not going to let anyone ruin my childhood. I've ever seen in my life is that G.I. Joe movie. Yeah, G.I. Joe Ghost wasn't that Rider? great. It wasn't that great. Yeah. How is, then how is anything else the worst movie you've ever seen? <laughs> Dude, G.I. Joe is fucking horrible. My mom got me that for Christmas, literally. Because <laughs> she has no Joe? idea what I'm into. And I still have in the wrapping. It's just sitting there. G.I. Joe! And knowing is half the battle. So when are you guys going to release your new shit? Oh, uh, we're not. Huh? Huh? We're going to release our sh- new shit. Well, it was supposed to be in November, but now it's going to be pushed back to December. And uh, that sucks. There's several reasons why, such as? 
so the several reasons why we're not releasing it in November is because we have to go on tour and uh, the lazy. the dude. Well, I wouldn't necessarily consider us lazy. It's that we can't get in contact really with uh, the dude who's producing and mixing our album, which is a good friend. Anyway. Good friend, but he just got he's off, in Europe. He just got off tour. So he's yeah. in Europe, so or so well, he just he got was. back from Europe, so it's been hard to talk to him. Yes, so he, Ryan, I doubt you're listening to this, but fuck you. <laughs> So, question for Pat the Human. When was the last time you guys used condoms? Uh, I don't know. What's a Angela, you want to take that one? <laughs> When's the last time we used a condom? Yell. What's a condom? <laughs> I haven't used a condom in almost because three it was and never. a half since, years. Yeah, not since 79, yeah, man. Years. It's been about 20 years since I used condoms. 22 years. What's a condom? What, is a condom? <laughs> what the hell? Condoms. Some sort of sheep skin? So, so euphony. I actually just saw one today for a Gumby condom. Your dick looks like Gumby. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? It's made by Trojan. Is it? Is it have like the weird shape to it? Is it like yeah, Gumby's yeah, it's, head? It's, it's green. Make your makes your dick kind of look like a uh, an oddly shaped cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Gumby, for real. That's okay. awesome. All so right, I got a question so you for some. you guys. I got a question for uh, euphony. What was the last time you had a tampon? No, that's Would not you my use question. That? That's that's the question. Yo, okay. Anyway, anyway. Okay, anyway. so you guys have have uh, have numerous tour experiences. What is like? Yeah, you fucking do. What That's is right. your um like? Get, tell Terminate me tour. y'all's each like most interesting tour story, I guess. Why is that? that funny? I oh, man. punched Brandon in the face once. We. You what? I punched Brandon in the face. Why? Once. Actually, that was a Dorian Gray. Yeah, that was. Well, later. I guess. Well, I mean, any tour story, I guess. This we've actually only done one uh, tour. What about the Terminator tour? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We did a two-week tour with Fit for a King. That's but right. There's actually there's a couple of good stories on that tour. I'd have to dig through my brain to find them. But, yeah, there was one time when uh, me and Jeff and Sean were in Dorian Gray, and me and Sean got in a little argument over his girlfriend at the time, and he punched me, Brandon, in the face. <laughs> right up in the face. And I, I actually called my mom and cried and, <laughs> and asked her to come pick me up from... Georgia. Georgia. No. Did she? No, North Carolina. North Carolina. North Did Carolina. you actually get picked you know, up? You didn't punch him back. No, no. I, I didn't hit him back because I'm He's a baby. A pussy. Did, y'all, did y'all play the, sh- the show, though? What's that? Did y'all play the show after it yeah. was all done? done? Yeah, it was like a really drunken night. We, were, we got <laughs> really drunk in this shitty hotel. I didn't get drunk. Brandon got fucking belligerent. He was talking <laughs> out of his ass. So you punched the poor drunk guy? <laughs> you beat the shit out of a poor he drunk passed. guy? He's preying on the weak is what he's doing. <laughs> 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 You're gonna get sober one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do you have any? I'm helping you. Awesome uh, toy stories. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when when the fuck are you guys aiming to go on tour? Yes. Because now it'll be in audio history and it'll be something to work work towards. Well, uh, as soon as we can get a vehicle. Which is the whole point uh, of the benefit show, right? Yeah, we're actually playing a benefit show December 3rd to uh, accumulate some money to actually buy a vehicle to tour. That's been the only reason why we haven't toured is because we don't have a vehicle. Um, so Would y'all ever consider a Kickstarter? Yeah, how could we? What's up? We've seen tons. We've seen you guys have it, and we've seen other bands that have done it. And it would work, dude. We just I feel don't know. We, I don't know what we could do. I feel like to we, we should. Kids or like, we want to do it, but. We want to do it at a time where not really anyone else is doing is it. Doing it because so, Bell Epic is doing yeah, it. Yeah, Bell right. Epic's doing it right now. Into, uh, Bell Epic right now. Yeah, which but is a, awesome. A lot of people around this area like y'all a lot, and so I think y'all could get a sufficient amount. I mean, He's lying. Me. Yeah, I am lying. Actually, that was total. <laughs> Nobody bullshit. likes you, but you might be able to get a couple bucks. <laughs> they just show up out of pity. They don't. They don't actually like you. Music. About sincere shit. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you guys have a lot of fucking friends and fans. You should probably do a Kickstarter right when Bell Epic is done. Yeah. Well, That'd be pretty maybe cool. we just need a, a quick tutorial on how to kickstart a Kickstarter. I can show you how. Uh, yeah, it's easy. Uh, I can show you how. It can be done. Probably yeah, not very can hard. I'll show you the way. Basi- yeah. yeah, basically you do you it, guys, and guys then you don't one, give right? anybody the prizes. Yeah, because we haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you that, guys That's a lie. That's a lie. We'll, we'll we give will. prizes. We'll we give... 
We give blowjobs. You guys and did dick one, right? Massages. Yeah. And everything. What was like, your, we, like, we, we did it. We got, we we got like a thousand and something. Thousand? Yeah. yeah. Over a thousand dollars. A little bit over a thousand. Yeah. Because I saw a thousand. Thousand. Yeah. Well, I saw. Bell Bell Epic's goal is five five thousand. I know. I don't know. Insane. That's a lot of money. Love but, the dude. But they already have a, like 800 something. That's a large like, amount of ass. Well, the reason they're asking for 5,000 because they're not just asking for the recording. They're asking for the recording and getting in the record on a CD yeah. and the artwork and all that oh, stuff. Totally. Like They're pretty much asking yeah, for the money for everything. Hellcrops and hookers. <laughs> dude, like I'm, our gl- blue I'm M&Ms glad. In a I, bowl, please. I like the sound revival, but I like Bell Epic more, so I'm glad oh, they're yeah, back. Me too. And I hope they stick with that fucking... Queen the bo- cover. Yeah, the Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And do it all this time. Yeah, come Not on, guys. Not just stop halfway. What are you doing? God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those guys Such are fucking awesome. We've known those guys since we were, like, hey, you just gotta really see fucking you young. I got one you can share with somebody. I know we used to play with them all the time. It's all right. We're so sorry, Corey, for taking uh, your bigger debts. Let's pass the <laughs> cigarette around like a joint. I've had too many Four Locos tonight, I'll tell you that. I've had half up. of one and a blue moon. So, Mr. Crabtree is doing recordings, that's correct? Yeah. Hey, if you need a cheap recording and don't mind uh, some... Good quality. M- some MIDI drums and some awesome quality, then let me know. 100 bucks a song. And him so. fucking you in the ass while you're recording. Hey, you what do you guys that? think about that? Would you ever release MIDI drums on an EP or a yeah. LP? You would? Us? Yeah. Euphony? Yeah, we're actually... I mean, we're about to. We're actually. Shh. But we're actually about to put up a sampler with. It's gonna be all MIDI drums. So yeah. It's, gonna be a it's pretty much all. It's all pre-production. We're gonna put like up a collage. Would you learn MIDI, like Jeff? Stuff. Would you learn how to play cool. MIDI drums, Jeff Harlan? You've been playing since Fucking you were seven, him. eight. Hey, yeah, dude. Yeah, what do you think about Jeff's that thought, shit? Jeff Harlan's <laughs> thoughts on <laughs> MIDI drums. Here we go. Um, they suck. Big giant fat dick. They do. <laughs> they do. They, they just sound so good. But yeah, they, it. it sounds amazing, but. Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just, they just sound perfect. It's so terrible. I can't. I hate how good they sound. It's just too damn good. So, um, I, I think we're going to do like a tradition uh, since we started with, with Sparrows for every band that we have on here, feature a song at the end. So, like. Yeah, what song do you guys you want songs you to play? Like to put, for us to put on the end. What we song can, do you want at the end of this? We can play a What song do you want us to play at the end of this? Gonna, we're right now? Done. Right here? No, wait, wait, well, no, usually what I do, I just put the song like, at the very end of the, of the podcast, yeah. give people something to listen to at the very well, end. We actually don't have any, like, full songs that are fully, well, we have full songs done, but not with everyone not on Not releasable? Well, I mean, I can do an old one if you want me to. Well, yeah, yeah we can do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could put a song off the EP, or you okay. could, uh, we have... We've got a couple tracks that we've been working on that we could put clip, a clip or two okay. of, or okay. we could put something. We've okay. got a couple samples that you guys can totally use. Cool, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. I would like to do that. Make we'll a whole let new you listen to a few at the end, and then you can choose. Sweet. Uh, here, could we, could we? I don't know how bad quality this will sound, but. See, is somebody talking in there? Because I can hear it. Steven, eat a, eat a dick. Uh, Brandon and Ramon continue. So, like, so y'all style before was, a, would you say you guys, y'all are a lot harder now or uh, softer, well, we're, I guess? We, we're be, the yeah, baby. Yeah, we've been uh, writing, like, all of our new songs are in a lower tuning. The whole entire EP was in C, drop C. And you said, and, fuck that. Yeah, and the newer stuff we have, so far, we have like one song in A sharp, and we have three in drop B. That's heavy. Yeah. All of our stuff's in drop H. Drop B? <laughs> drop H. Drop H. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop some preparation. E, H. man. Standard. Drop standard. So, what do you, gu- hey, what do you guys think about, like, uh, I don't know, um, the kind of new... I don't, I don't really know how to put it. Um, Ford. I guess it, one thing I could ask you, what do you guys think about Jen? 
Honestly, I never even heard the term "chint" until about a couple months ago. Would you be insulted Actually, if somebody let me, said? Let me just say that that is not a uh, genre of music at, at all. It's just uh, it kind hasn't of been approved by the genre board of it, it's educators. A, it's a sound that a guitar makes, you know. No, what do you think about the gent phenomenon? Well, like the g- the genre, oh. whether you think it's a genre, but like the, movement? the style periphery. of music. Oh, what do I think about periphery? Uh, I mean, yeah. they're great. Periphery great, and awesome animals band. and leaders. I think, I think he means Meshuga, but oh. okay. Anyway, I think it's pronounced. What do I think oh, about don't, the don't new age better version of Meshuga? Well, no, they're don't great. Gent is great. Meshuga is a periphery. <laughs> if you do it, if you do it right, I think it's cool. I mean, what do, what do you? What does Pat the Human think about gent? Well, like, so like Jeff said, Meshuga, it's been around forever, yeah. but that's... And kind of, 90s. What's kind of weird is, like, people are taking a goddamn liking to it, oh, yeah. and there's, like, six million gen groove. bands now. Yeah, like, like groove metal. For, for me, for me personally, like, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, but, like, for us to put it in our music, I would probably just use it as, like, breakdowns and stuff, but other than that, like, I, like, I wouldn't want to make a whole song just gen, you know. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of weird, like, when, like... I don't know when bands use the overuse it. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, I wouldn't say <laughs> Sugar overuses it because they sort they of invented, invented it. it. Oh yeah, they did but, invent it. Mm-hmm. Well, but now th- there's like uh, twenty. I've heard in the last week. Um, I actually have a friend who listens to like nothing but that kind of stuff. Marco, what's up, Marco? Buddy? Yeah, Marco. And my friend Randy Joe, he likes a lot of that stuff, and he showed me a couple of bands that all sound quite. Have you Have you heard of The Gentleman? No, no. I oh. Have you have you heard of a band? Have you heard of a band called Gru? No, I have not. L- type, type just G R U in YouTube. And yeah, they're really for good. Like a blue kind of like cover album. Man, they are so good. It's like it's like space space gen. space gent. space gent. It's so, so fucking good. Astronaut suits and gent. It's like animals as leaders with like space spacey ambient shit going on. It's like really good. Really yeah, but like good. for me, I guess gent. It's the same as like uh, like. More or less hardcore music. It all sounds the same. Do what? No, oh, Brandon's Bean. No, but Gent sounds li- like Gent and hardcore. Like they've all da- they just all the sound the same. Like all the bands. Like this all sounds similar to me. So yeah. It's not my. It's not my. It's not my preference. Thing. So the <laughs> local music scene. What? Um. What? Uh. Sucks. <laughs> I don't know. No, I feel it, like in it the past. Suck. I feel like in the past couple of years, it's been uh, sucking ass. It's been what? I feel like it's been sucking ass the past couple of years. Yeah, well, I feel like promoters are super greedy motherfuckers. And <laughs> hey, like you know what? Actually, I feel um, like there's certain promoters in particular that kind of have the whole uh, market of this area co- cornered. They have it. They have it absolutely cornered. Not to name some, any names, some but some people. Yeah, not to do that. You know, my friend drives an MKZ. <laughs> right. I'm yeah. just saying. Though. Yeah. <laughs> But it's I, yeah, a, I feel it's like it's a good. It used to be a good car. <laughs> it used to be, yeah. yeah but you know, <laughs> but I, I kind of feel the like the 2011 uh, models aren't looking as good. Yeah, I kind of feel like some people, you know, claiming to to help the local scene are actually kind of fucking in the ass. Can I have one? Um, just, I don't know. I kind of think the local scene has definitely changed over the past uh, five or six years for sure. You know what, dude? You know what bummed me out is we just played a cancer benefit show for this dude named Philip George who's an awesome fan awesome. but uh, he only got $451 and we drew 600. 62 people so that's $620 from us just us just they us were and five not other to mention bands. the other bands playing wow. yeah Ooh, it's ridiculous thanks. how the hell did he only get $400 because people are really big fans of cancer and they're all about it apparently <laughs> they love the but, cancer okay, the, Wait, the promoter so who promoted that show? Yeah, that, so I thought that was canceled. fucking. Is that bullshit? what happened? Yeah. Is that what happened? Like he only made like four hundred bucks. He Philip only walked away with four hundred and fifty-one dollars. That's fucked up. No, you know what is fucked up? I, it's not necessarily maybe the promoters. Hey, it's not necessarily the promoters. Only it's also the venues too, because Eisenberg charges six hundred bucks to rent their venue out for like five hours, I think. Damn. It's like basically a hundred bucks an hour. That's kind of. You think Eisenberg is worth five hundred bucks an hour without sound? No. Yeah, I think Eisenberg no. should go back to being floor shows because that was way sweeter. Yep. I I was I always a fan of the Eisenberg. I love you, shows. Kevin, but bring back the floor, man. Hey, the thing, the thing that I don't understand. Yeah, tear your goddamn down. stage down. 
Jared, dude. We've tried, dude. dude yeah, we have tried. I never. It's strong stage. Okay, well, the thing that I don't understand about certain um, promoters is how, and this is what certain people used to do, they would have these big festivals, right? And they would have their local bands mm -hmm. play not just open up these festivals or whatever, but they would have them play at a really good time oh slot, yeah, if I not that. headlining. No, no, no. We used to do that shit all the time, too. Not have to pre-sale either. Yeah. And then they would be able to put on nothing but you know, have like a show, like a festival of just local bands, and it'd be able to draw well because they'd be promoting these local bands yeah, I remember on these festivals. Because band, local bands would actually get to play in front of a lot of people instead of having to bust their ass and play in front of nobody and get paid. Well, I mean, what happened to promoters working with local bands and not fucking in the ass to play in front of a national that didn't bring any people? It doesn't make sense how you can ask a band to play an hour if not farther away Wasn't for a battle of the bands and sell 40 tickets and then have them whoever wins play a festival and then get a percentage of their merch that's cool yeah it's what, crazy didn't you guys have a have a show with upon a burning body where you sold all of your pre-sell tickets and made zero dollars didn't get paid one fucking we dollar <laughs> we brought a we have editing we brought like, don't worry Brandon. we brought like 50 people or so and no one else. No, we can't. No, we, 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 okay. we brought more people than that. We brought, we brought people through the door, too. It was almost 80. Yeah, we brought almost 80 people to that oh, show. It was a good oh, show. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck? What does it matter if we say who these people are? This is the only way that it's going to fucking change if we fucking give our grievances against them and basically put their name out there. But yeah. the thing is, they will hold that over your head and won't but let hey, you play their But shows. we don't have to go through them, <laughs> God damn it. Then you won't play time. in front of big shows. Hey, that's the, the, the catch-22. But they're not the only way that you're going to play in front hey, of big shows. Hey, at the same time, Here it is. we haven't been working with these people for a really long time, and we haven't been playing these quote-unquote big shows in a long time. So there's really no difference. There's no getting yeah, any true. worse. And now that... Now that the local scene has goddamn beautiful Alex Balish to thank for the Aquarius Agency. Thank, yes, thank God for Alex Balish. Let's give Alex Balish a round of, round of applause. And I just want to throw this out there. Alex, you're a piece of shit for not listening to this. Yeah, fuck you, you Alex, asshole. But we love you. We'll have him on eventually, someday. Yeah, so I think, dude, that one. is it just me or is Alex Balish the, literally the saving grace? He's, I, like he's, he's our he's, Jesus. He's working like wonders for like so many bands. Well, not just, not just reason, like for hardworking bands. Yeah. yeah. The reason why Alex Balish is saving it is because he's been in several bands that have had to deal yeah. Yeah, with it. the bullshit. Yeah. He, he played <laughs> first show ever. He's played in he's Scarlet been, Affair, there. in Fair Verona, fucking American, American Mantra. Mantra. I mean, he's been around the block and back, and he knows what it's like to be kids. in a band's position. So that's why he treats bands. How they should. As they should be treated. And not and only that. And he's incredibly talented, to say the least. And yeah, that, for real. And that ass. Oh, oh dude. Alex. And not it to mention. Oh it God. doesn't stop for miles. Have you seen Alex Balish's ass in a pair of grill jeans? <laughs> oh, he's really, oh, my God. That's my background Especially right now. Especially the ones now. with no pockets. Yeah, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool that he's doing that. And hopefully, you know, it doesn't really matter. It, the way I look at it is, like, local for local matters. Local promoters. I mean, it'll, it'll be, it'd be it would be nice to get treated nicely. Uh, <laughs> a human being, please. Where yeah. you're where you're where you're from, but dude, like when we went on our first tour, um, the West Coast thing with, with the, the requested, requested um, everyone else treated us really nice, and they treated except us for a lot. Vegas. What do you mean? No, Vegas. Except for Utah. Remember when the guy oh, Utah, Utah and Vegas. Vegas were, were they Mormon? Mad? In Vegas, Vegas. In Vegas. In Vegas, they told us we asked if we got any, if we had any water, uh, and they said there was a Seven Eleven across the street. Oh yeah, the dude that run it was a fucking wigger. Yeah. He was so <laughs> dumb. he was an asshole. <laughs> awesome sound person. Oh, though. I was of cow yeah. Oh, sound. sound yeah. It was, a, it, 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 we, it was a tranny <laughs> that was doing our sound. No, dude, bodybuilder no, no, no. tranny. She, she, yeah. Really nice. she like, really nice. yeah, no, awesome. Gave me a hug after the show. You wasn't didn't want it, wasn't, it, wasn't <laughs> expecting the boobs. She sucked my dick after the show. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no, but um. Well, at least it wasn't in Utah. Yeah. It and you know what? You know what's fucked up is like every fucking almost every show we played on on that tour was five dollars. Five bucks. And 
Every show around here, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a five dollar oh, show around here. Ever, I think no. Sherman is the only place that does five dollars. I saw yeah, this, Sherman. I saw Norma Jean and Evergreen Terrace like six or seven years ago for five dollars at the Door Dallas, and that's that amazing. was that well, was it's, well, part of it. Oh, Sleeper's done one dollar shows at the oh, Door yeah, Dallas. Oh yeah, that was like yeah. packed out to the fucking yeah. max. Well, and part that's, of that's what you're gonna do. You, if you lower the prices, people are gonna come. Yeah, like, and see, that's the thing that sucks is because if you were to put it even like five bucks or fuck Oh Sleeper put it ten bucks, whatever. Everyone, probably just as many people would have come. Oh, yeah. But the... The fact that it's a dollar knocks out. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and that's the thing. Nobody nobody really wants to pay $15 to see an all-local lineup that they don't know. Or $35 to well, see fucking a bunch Two of good bands. bands. Yeah. And, and you know... Oh, probably won't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never mind. We'll hook the door you. Dallas, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, like, part of the reason why, like, like, uh... The tickets are like ten bucks. It's not, I mean, like partially it's the promoter, but a lot of it's just the venue. The venues charge too much for people to fucking play at their shows. True. And there's I only mean, fucking uh, well, and the value one of the venue. Dollar in yeah, fifty two cents venues. now. Yeah, and if like if the venues didn't charge so much, then maybe promoters wouldn't charge as much either. Well, yeah, and back then five dollars was what twenty dollars is now. Yeah. And doesn't it kind of blow your mind that the people that are putting on these shows for us that are just sitting back and crunching numbers and shit are making more money than us the people oh, that yeah. are Bands breaking are the last people pay, asses man. ask go sleeper man they posted a, or Shane Blair oh, I saw amazing, I read that yeah amazing an amazing he fucking that whole thing about how it all crunches down like by the person like how is that fair how is it's that not, right dude that's just that's the music industry dude bands are the last people pay uh, 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 what I I read that too what the O sleeper what's his name Shane Blair yeah, what he wrote, and, like, I never heard of it, but he said that there's a uh, venue tax, which, depending they, the tour, yeah, yeah, depending on, like, where you're playing at, the actual venue, and what did you say, the tour itself? Yeah, the tour. They will actually tax a percentage of your merch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? That's well, like see, they're not doing that for us, like, though. Yeah, that's for big tour, tours. I'm sure they all gave. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that, Warp, that's insane, though. You know Warp Tour, you have to give 50% oh, yeah. merch. 50%, 50% merch. merch. Like more than that, I'm sure. That's Fuck. Can you imagine like playing that show every day and every day having to pay? Isn't that crazy though? Yeah. It's horrible playing that tour every day. Really? Well, depending on your situation. I mean, I'm sure if you're a fucking every time I die or something. Band and yeah. you're in a bus and what you got a badass label paying for everything. But like bands that are smaller, um, I actually had a friend's band, uh, Ivory Line. They played a whole year of Warped Tour and they said it was hell and back. It was fucking awful. It was just like, because they did it in a van. Yeah. On top of the fact of it being 107 degrees every day. Every single day. Yeah. So playing Shit. in the sun. I've heard, day. I, I mean, I guess it just depends on your situation. But those tours make a lot of money. And yeah. It's it's good promotion too. Like, it's definitely a good way to I know, Katy Perry was on it. People that wouldn't normally see it, but it was. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I saw Katy Perry when she played Warped Tour, and she was really good. That was awesome. Well, I know. I, I, just, I can smell that. Not every, awesome. not, not every, <laughs> not every band is Enter Shikari. You do realize that, right? <laughs> he doesn't realize. I that. love Enter Shikari, but not every band is Enter Shikari. <laughs> yeah, you're just clumping you're just in the category. Closed-minded. That's ridiculous. You don't like Forever the Sickest Kids, Steven? You're so no, good. No, Steven does like Forever the Sickest Kids. I like one song because of the synth. Hey, Brittany. Why are you messing with me? That's the McDonald's thing. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is, it is. Hey, you remember that one time that we recorded with Jeff Rockwell a long time ago? Oh, and yeah. He, I, I don't know by what m- means this could happen, but he uh, put an unreleased... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, what forever, that's how I heard it. <laughs> Becky Stars, he put Becky Stars at the end of our track, <laughs> so we had our track and then Becky Stars. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 and then he called us up, and he's like, hey, guys, please, God, don't release that. <laughs> and then it, we're just like, no, dude, we didn't plan on it, but it sounds really good. And, like, he was like, he was like dude, it's like, please, please don't release it. It's super important. Because it was, it, was, it, was, it was for, like, their Warner CD or whatever. And so, yeah. like, uh, it was just really funny. I don't know right. how that happens. You record bands. How could, I don't know how, how in the world does that happen. That couldn't Does happen. another person's song get accidentally tapped at the on end of your song? I actually, that sounds absurd to me. So yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you just wanted us to hear it. Yeah. Oh, so it's like mixed in. It's kind of the same key or 
or same? Not even. Not no, even. like, like <laughs> our song Random ended. Our song, se- our song ended, and then yeah. it was like Forever Six Kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like there's no way that he could just like put it in unless he, he did it. He must have been doing lots of psychedelic <laughs> drugs. Or Hey, Corey, I actually wanted to ask you how your old band, Josephine Collective, is doing. Oh, yes. dude. <laughs> Fuck Josephine Collective. I love them. I love them, man. And, you know, I was really bummed. You know what? Uh, God damn. I just love Josephine Collective. That that I'm CD. Great. We great. We are, we are the air. That We are the air. That CD is, like, one of my favorite CDs of all time. But. You really didn't when, write it. That's fine. Door, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But uh, when we saw them at Door Plano, I, the dude gave a shout out to red car wire and i said boo and the guy took like strong offense to it he was like dude those are our friends those are friends should be nice and i was like dude well red car wire sucks You're like dude <laughs> like, I I look ta- just like you i talked to him after the show i was like dude red car wire sucks and he explained to me like why or whatever but i was super bummed because you do a reunion show i mean we know this i wouldn't say better than anybody but we know it goddamn well um, because around here, nobody wants to hear any of our new songs. They just want to hear Rita and BTS and Me Versus Myself and shit like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Those songs were, know you know, songs. those <laughs> songs, we liked them in the past, and we still like some of them. But um, Josephine Collective only played two old songs, and they played, like, five or six new songs, which are, God, they're not even in the same realm of they genre. They just like Rain? No. They played... Uh, the the airbrush song. What was that one? Yeah. Uh, airbrush airbrush nipples. Uh, God damn. Got no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know, but they played two songs, and I was really <laughs> bummed about that. But because they're, they're one of my favorite bands of all time, I, I don't know who wrote that album because I guess they didn't. Uh, I got a question, on, Corey. Uh, the singer. Who's the singer? Well, they had two singers. No, okay. They used two. The the bum looking one. Oh man, that's me. But he's not. Nice. But it's my opinion. The guy so that bought you the beers. He didn't buy me beer. Yeah, he did. When? At uh, South by So What? I don't remember. The black chick bartender or whatever? You said she was cute? And yeah. the dude kept buying you beers? That's the singer for Josephine Collective. Well, I, I don't remember. But anyways. I lost my train of thought. Never mind. So, hey, uh, how, how stoked are you guys for your, your tour coming up at Alex City? Oh, my God. Beyond stoked. But so you know what I'm not yeah. stoked about is... Uh, Our van? <sighs> I'm not stoked about um, having... I'm not stoked about getting fucked in the ass by Facebook. I've sent over... Last night, I sent about 500 messages to people in San Antonio promoting the show. Yeah. And then Facebook told me, hey, fuck you, you're spamming. We're going to delete your account if you do it again. And I'm like, dude, I individualized every fucking message. I sat there for 500 messages for like three hours, just fucking individualizing them all. And then it was like, this, I, cause Don't I, lie, you were copy and pasting shit. I was, but, yeah, but, there it is. but I was altering it every yeah, message. Yeah. Probably by not enough though. Yeah, apparently. And so they told me. You probably got to alter about 30% of it. So I got fucked. Something like that, 30%. Wait, does it matter? Like, do they, do they read your message? It's that you keep messaging people so fast and shit like that, but the problem is, like, what I'm doing, I'm just going to past shows at that venue that are in the same genre as us, or, you know, whatever kids would come out to see, or kids, people would come out to see that are, like, the same kind of show or whatever, and I go to that past event, and then I message every person that's attending that past event, and I'm like, yo, my fucking band is touring through here. Just give us a, a listen on Facebook. We got a song up. If you don't like it, then whatever. Ignore it or whatever. But if you do like it, well, then come check us out. We're playing here. It's right beside you. You, you live in San Antonio, obviously, because I messaged you. Inside you. Wherever. Inside of you. Corey. Inside of Corey. you. Corey, I got a question. What is the difference between messaging people and inviting them to an event? Because you can invite yeah, yeah, a yeah. fuck ton of people without Pro- it being spam. Because... If you invite someone to an event, it comes up on the side of the page. If you inv- if you message somebody, it'll come up at the top of the page, and it'll be like, alert. And so you click on it. You have a message. You'll be like, oh, okay. I have a message. Click on it. If you're invited to an event now, it doesn't do the same thing to where it's like, you've been invited to, to this event. It'll show like a row of all these events that you've been invited to, and you'll never see the one that 
matters. You know? So why can't they just make like a separate like band only like in, invite thing, but like message wise, you know? Well, because Facebook's a bunch of fucking assholes, and Mark Zuckerberg's the epitome of a Jew. Fucking Jew. The actor who played him was better than the real guy. Jesse Eisenberg Boom. rules. Boom. Yeah, I do too. That's what I was saying. I was saying the actor is better than the real guy. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, Zuckerberg's a piece of shit. Uh, Welcome, everyone. Shit. I'm the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> Fuck off. So, what do you, hey, what do you guys think about um, how hard it is to promote on Facebook as compared to MySpace? You remember well, that? Man, it's been so long. Oh, you're talking about Obviously, you know, MySpace, you get like a, you have your band account, and you can mm-hmm. literally, you can literally go through and add people. You can't send, you can't send like requests to people. Yeah, you can't send like requests or anything. What the fuck exactly are we talking about here? Well, if you open your ears, let's get some fucking legitimate topics rolling through here. All right. Oh. You start it. Okay. Oh. You start it. Take, take it go away. It. I'm, you know, I'm no, 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 no. Take no, it away. Okay, um, Into the mic. Not so, not so easy, is it? So, Jeff, uh, what's up? You want to talk about beards? Let's, let's I noticed go. you grew one. That's kind of cute. Beard? I what's got the, let's I talk about... Shave, I know you shave yours. Yeah, because beards are for bears. Let's talk about eyeglasses. Who told you to do that? Uh, did you tell me to do that, Angela? Yeah. You did it on your own? Yeah. Christianity told him to do that. Oh, boy. Let's not get into that. Yeah, um, yeah we did that last week or two weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> because this isn't sparrows we're sitting down with. <laughs> I know. Are y'all religious? Are y'all religious by any chance? Feel free to answer. I'm not religious I say at religious. all. More get the so fuck out of here. You yeah, get the oh fuck out of here. More so spiritual. No. I agree with that. In the, in, in the alien sense? What? I believe in God. I believe that there's a higher power that that is in sync with what we do. Do you believe in God? I don't believe in a a set rule book on the way that we should. So you're agnostic? I suppose so. Okay, yeah, let's talk about about aliens. I pray every day, and I I believe that there's a God that is in sync with our energy, but I don't, I I I can't. I definitely believe in God. I think it's kind of ridiculous for people to believe in aliens and not God. Yep. I think it's kind of, oh, I saw this cool thing on TV, this alien supposedly came down at least thousands of years ago, but fuck God. Yeah. Now, what do you, what do, well, what do you think about when people say that alien is God? That could be true, and it kind of makes sense. Well, people, a lot of sense. People's, people view aliens as like What extra. would you say if I told you I was God? <laughs> I would, what would you say? We'd kick your I, would, <laughs> I would pray to go to hell. That's all right. <laughs> well, when people hear the term alien, they think of an extraterrestrial being from Green another. Man. But why would the why other, would aliens look exactly like us? From another Earth. Do you s- y- you know those lights that we see in the sky? How do we know those aren't spirits and Cause, angels cause, cause or airplanes. demons or whatever they are? I think they're airplanes. I, I think they're just stars. They could be just. I think they're, I think they're stars. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, it's fireworks, actually. Well, when you look at the statistics and you you know you say like oh. Well, I think it must be hooter. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I agree. Like when you well, look at it statistically, well, there it's has not. To be it's not even that. It's not just like you. Like the universe is so vast. There's probably another civilization on an Earth. You you also have to look at like all the different dimensions and like just things like that in general. Like I think that there's an even higher chance of there being extra dimensional beings than just extraterrestrials. Right. I. I agree with that. I agree with that. And um, actually, our bassist's uncle used to do um, security for. Um, I can't even remember. It was like. Raytheon or something? Wasn't like the tea party? Yeah, yeah some fucking tea party and like. Yeah. Build a, people from the Bilderberg Group and all that shit. Wait, what? Bilderberg Group? Uh, build. 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 Yeah, we could. No, but that, that guy's fucking crazy. But as you were saying. But yes, religion. As far as that goes, that just separates people and makes people angry at each other. So we're not, I mean, we, we can be okay with whatever you believe in, but we're not, like, saying fuck you for what you believe in because anybody this is, is entitled to their own belief. But we, I think that as a group, we all have our different beliefs. But when it comes to a roundabout, 
I guess, accumulation. I think we all believe in something more and that it's in sync with what we do every day in our lives. I'd say that's good. I'd say that's We're good. still searching. We're still watching ancient aliens and reading documentaries or start watching documentaries and reading articles and researching what we, I mean, we're still on the search to figure out what we, we, we just want to strengthen what, what we can know to the fullest. So that's fucking, we that's don't really the way know, to do it. But we, we'd like to, and we're still hunting, <laughs> I guess. That's good. Good answer. That's what I mean. Sparrows just told us Hail Satan. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Literally. That's well, that is an easy, that's an easy answer, I suppose. And so, did anyone nice. watch the new Walking Dead? I have Season not. two? I just oh actually shit! Started. That already started. Because I haven't watched it either, God but damn it. I should. I actually just started watching the first season. Oh yeah. Slash the first first two season episodes. is pretty good. Nice. The second Walking season Dead? has different. I've never seen different it, so producer. I started on it. Well, speaking of Walking Dead, Dead watch director, Kirby Enthusiasm. Director. It's equally as good. <laughs> I mean, it, it, Let's go! I mean the lead the lead character is basically a zombie. So. <laughs> Of what? Larry David is a zombie. Uh, <laughs> we always talk about Kirby Enthusiasm. Because it's fucking good. Did someone pop you in the jaw? Why are you doing that? You guys like Dexter and all? I love Dexter. I haven't seen it. I'm the De- Dexter has, fanatic has of the, the group. Has the new season started yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Not what too are we sure talking yet. about right now? Dexter. Oh, Dexter. Yeah, what the fuck are we talking about right now? I know. Well, I Jeff, confused. you started off. Hear. Let's go. So, have we, have we talked about, uh, you know, the guys in my band over here, have we talked <laughs> about our recent uh, plans as what we're doing? In the yeah, actually, we have. Was I was I not here for that? No, you weren't. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, that was early on. We're sure just we talking about <laughs> or we can sen- you can censor that. Yeah, I can. As somebody joining the band. I just wanted to make sure we talked about. We know, can talk about it, I guess. I mean, it gives us something to talk. About. Man, well, oh, okay. it really changed. I'll give you something to talk about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it really fucking changes the di- the dynamic of you. Wait, did you listen to it? Oh yeah. Who I've, showed you? Dude, I've heard. Who like, told you? A thou- <laughs> I've heard so much shit. I don't know. Everyone just sends me something different. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> that you know what, Sean? You know what, dude? That's such a piece of shit move. <laughs> because, dude. You were like, dude, you should start singing more. I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, before you like, fuck that. Explain to people. If it was, if it was fuck, if it sucked, if it was terrible, I would have still said it was awesome. Corey, explain to people what's the situation. Yeah, well, I didn't lie because I liked it. But if it was, like, terrible, I'd be like, man, Sean, it's good. Explain the situation. But, like, what? Oh, like, tell, no. Like, tell people, like, what, like. What, I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Well, I've heard it in Sean's car. I've heard it from Jeremy. I've heard it from uh, Brandon. Oh. I've heard it from everybody. It's not really a secret. Just to throw that out there for you. Have you heard it? I think Sean at the last um, gathering party thing that we was were at going was around showing everybody the new song. <laughs> 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 hey, this is a secret. Don't tell anybody. Hey, this is a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I think you must have, like, I, at least. Good, nice. thirty people might have heard that. Yeah! Ow! I was fucking wasted at that party. Really? Sean was drunk. I know I didn't. Yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> I was pretty drunk. Wait, was it Randy's party? Was that the yeah. one that everyone went to the uh, fucking uh, casino afterwards? They were going to, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, well, we went to Denny's. I was fucking. I was flirting with the fucking waitress and shit. How old was she? Fifty? She was pretty old. She was old. How many wrinkles did she have? Stupid too. I was I was like wasted. I, I got home. I was wearing this shirt and I had like just puke all over, over it the next day and butthole stains on it. Yeah. Jeff over here playing with his spiffy new uh, iPhone 4S. Hey, tell your phone that you fucking want to fuck it. Tell your phone that you love her. Let's see what she says. The longest girlfriend, Jeff. Jeff does not compute. Jeff <laughs> does not compute. <laughs> Jeff, get your dick out of my with. earphone. Have you bought the iPhone Flesh app? Have <laughs> Fleshlight app? The iFlesh? The iFlesh. <laughs> no I need to no need to manually jack off anymore. <laughs> okay, h- here I got one. Favorite movies of Euphony. Euphony, listen. No, I don't God care about it. movies. Favorite movies of movies Euphony. Are good, but like, oh, but you, we talk about local bands that are playing. Blah blah blah. Why can't we take about, about the shit? Here, this is oh, by the way, we didn't get to introduce, but apparently, um, not apparently, but Corey's girlfriend Angela is here too. So. We didn't introduce her earlier. I told her, I told him Angela was here. Did you? Looking all fine. I didn't hear it. With a big old smart brain. What do you want to talk about, honey? Yell it. What Anything. The fuck? Or never mind. I guess. What? No, 
Yeah. Okay, what do you think we should talk about, honey? How women, how girls don't feel comfortable, you know, trying to get into Fuck bands. Fuck you guys, don't even. How they don't feel comfortable I know, doing I know, what? I know. Say that again? How girls don't feel comfortable getting into bands. How girls feel like they're kind of out of the loop because local bands in this area, particularly, they kind of cast girls out of the thing. They think it's kind of a boys club. Right. Because like it's not their no, place. I like, you know, get back in the kitchen. Place. Every it, the problem is, it's because it's oversaturated by people. Gender is irrelevant, really. It is, and I think every person should feel comfortable wanting to make whatever they feel. Except for queers. I like I like <laughs> Don't Wake Aislinn. <laughs> in Austin, what? Don't Wake Aislinn. Well, there's yeah, there's only like right. Don't Wake Aislinn. But you, you know, know what the problem? Every pro- person should feel comfortable wanting to make whatever they feel. They have a passion for it. Well, because everyone, everyone in the scene is so not this scene, but this. Well, yeah, this music scene or whatever. <gasps> every, every, very close-minded, and everyone wants to do like a. What's popular? Hardcore. Really hardcore is oversaturated. You know what I'm talking about? And yeah. I mean, also. In you don't wear a jersey and shave your head, then fuck you. I'll, well, I'll get. That's what the sucks. Local music scene We're a brother. That I've, that We're a brother I've kind scene. of yeah. viewed today is they all want to make metal. They want to. All want to make one genre. They should have a, you know, it's kind of one-dimensional. They should make more than one genre. They should make, they have a bigger view. You well, finish. Start making vision. polka. I would. No. I, I'd like to make a shout out to, I guess, another girl artist, but that Taylor shout Marie out. chick. Who? The Taylor Marie chick. Yeah. The well, there's chain. another. There's yeah. another yeah, female I mean, local artist. She's really good. Yeah. So, she, just girls should follow that. You know, like girls should feel comfortable. Making whatever they feel, you know, every person, no matter what gender they are, they should feel comfortable making what they have a passion for. Gender. Like porn. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Let it be porn, too. If someone wants to do porn, let them do porn. No, I obviously, we're the... T- Why isn't there a musical is. porn? I wouldn't say that we're the Why does that never happen? Porn. That'd oh, be a no great idea. <laughs> what are you saying, Corey? No, I'm just saying, it's... I think, I think Pat, the human's very, very fucking adamant about... Doing what you want to do and not sticking to one genre. You'll you'll definitely know this on this next EP about what we mean because no, none of the songs that we are coming out with. We just don't give a fuck. That's all. I, mean, I wouldn't say that. I, I don't want to like say that either. Say yeah. That, not giving a fuck. No, like no. Well, I like it when I say it. None, so of the, none of the songs that we are coming out with all sound the same. Like you know, you'll go through an album and like literally every song has like the same sound. Like. All of our songs. You listen to the first track, you listen to the second track, completely different. Like, it really is. It's like a, it really feels like you're going on an adventure. Like and you know what? And like, it's like you a know, story. There's certain bands that can pull one genre off, which that's awesome. I think it's awesome. Like, The Ghost Inside, their very first CD is amazing. Every song is completely different. Every song is unique and awesome. But I don't know. We don't really. We, we don't really. I don't know. We don't think that we can make one. CD with one genre and have it sound interesting. I mean, people can do it, and I think people should keep doing it, but we just couldn't do it. But well, I, I wouldn't say it's a fault <coughs> either. I'm just saying like, it's not. We just prefer. You, not just, to. you just you just run into the run into the risk of like, you know, if you make having enough a filler songs, track. Yeah, you make enough of the enough of the songs, you you realize that you use the same chords, not but not not doing it on purpose. Yeah. Like you just end up doing it, and so like you have two two or three songs that literally sound like it's the same part. But maybe just the guitars are strummed differently, or the or the drums play a different beat over it, you know. And so. I would say that. that I'd say I would say that was a problem with their first CD. Yeah. Like it had really, it was really diverse, but you know, like it was kind of. It like like could have been better. As much as much as oh, much yeah. as like a lot of the songs I do like from the first CD, like um. I felt that the first CD, could, yeah, like, like you're right, it could have been a lot better. There was some. There were some parts, like, just mixing-wise, like, the drums and guitars sound completely different on one album than on another album. Like, you'll, the, the drums are not as loud or whatever. Um, I wish, I do wish that, like, on the first CD, we were better at songwriting, like we are now. And I wish we didn't write a couple of the songs in the studio, either. Yeah, that too. Even though that was an awesome experience. That was, it was fun. do that again. It was fun, hey, but yeah, it sucked. It? Who is that that you keep fucking playing who is that? Animals and Leaders. Is that, Mas- is that Mashuga? It sounds like Mashuga. Who is that? Okay. Mashuga.
I'm bald with a beard. So, Euphony, do you guys have any, like... Yes, sir. So, do you, do you guys prefer recording or, like, shows? Like, what's your... Like, because, what's actually, Sparrows is talking about... Uh, yeah. They prefer recording. They never All shows. Over. They said they... Shows are a necessary evil. That they don't enjoy playing them. Yeah. But he was like, kidding. What is, what is y'all's thoughts? I do shows. I never do shows. I personally I like agree. recording. Recording is fun. You can make shit sound amazing. I hate recording. Live. Me too. Sometimes it can sound like shit. I feel like... Recording can never play. I mean, I guess you can, but... As far as being in a band, I feel like recording is what's setting you up for a live show. I feel like yeah, your I live feel show... I enjoy shows where the promoter knows the <laughs> definition of the word guarantee. God, as do we. <laughs> ah, hey, no, hey we should get a, a <laughs> versus Jeff Harlan match going on. Let's do this we shit. Have that on UFC. Holy oh, shit. Oh, Epic. Man. Uh, we can set it up. Yeah. Hour of just I will have you back all Jeff the way. Yeah, I can, I can see, if I can you're see down to never play a big show in the area again, I can set that up for you. Yeah, we can set that up. Everyone in the scene in general feels my... Everyone will be behind your back, though, supporting yeah, you. Secretly. All the way. <laughs> secretly. Because they really want to play with your Word of Life tour. Word of Life sucks, guys. I agree. Except for their I old drummer, he was the sickest. Them. So, uh, speaking of also with recording, do you guys like, um, like, I guess, like, more like us, do you guys spend a lot of time um, redoing a lot of tracks? Like, do, do you guys do, like, a lot of multiple tracks of stuff, or do you kind of just... Everything's one take. One take. <laughs> especially every, every, every drums, MIDI drums especially I lay drums down, are. one take of MIDI. That's all. That's it. I'm that good. Uh, I mean, usually the guitars, um, you know, it's better to get one solid take yeah. and copy and paste it rather than spend all day trying to get every single movie Oh, wait, wait, wait. Perfect. Are you saying, because this is kind of, I'm really intrigued by this, you just do one take and then double it? Or, well, but, uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, copy and paste it, but not. What, well, I mean, like, if we have, most of the time, whenever I record, like, pre-production stuff, I'll, I'll get one track out and I'll do the same part, like, four or five times and find the best two takes, and uh -huh. that's guitar left and guitar right. And then I'll just if it if it repeats itself and does it four times, I'll just copy and paste that part. Why make why no, spend time? No, no, I totally understand that because obviously Euphony's music is a lot more intricate and technical than I'd say Pat the Humans is. You know, so we can afford we can afford the time to, you know, do one track and then go and just play the next track. You Ooh, know, one Steven was something other. good to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's I weird. Like it. Yeah, I mean, like you know, Let's there's change. a part and it goes on for four times in a row, you know, why why not have that every single time it does it be perfect and, it, and it's and yeah. it's basically it's not a and you guys have two guitar it's players. not a it's not a a thing of what's right or wrong. It's just just the process uh, 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 it's a process uh, of, how you, of how you lay it down. Thanks I mean, Jeff. It's not like we just do one part and copy and paste it a bunch of times. I mean, that's how we do our pre production though. That's, that's not necessarily pre how we, we how we, we actually in studio, record in the it's studio. A do, do bleed yeah. from a sugar. Can you do that? And I like, like I feel the same way, like, cause like whenever I actually like record my drums, um, <laughs> oh no, you have to do it into the microphone. Do it into the microphone. Yeah, come on. I wish you had a yeah. video for this. It's the only reason you're here. Come on, just to do that one thing. Don't be a like when I used to like used alien to, God put you oh, here to do way. that. That's all I got. Doing <laughs> the one hand clap. Don't worry, with uh, both we, hands. We'll, we're gonna take and copy paste it. <laughs> we, got, we got it. We got it. We got one good take. We're gonna copy and paste that like seven times. No. I guess we should probably start wrapping it up because it's a little late. But, All right. Um, well, um, I guess we'll give you guys a clip. So you want you, just, you want just to do like a medley clip or whatever? Just do like you want to do that? You want to do a whole song of like one of your old stuff? Do what? A clip. Okay. Thank you for listening. We're going to show you some new euphony. It'll just be like short clips, so hope you guys will enjoy that. Um, Corey? Sorry about the rain, and sorry about the scatterbrain today. Um, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll we should do another one because we're like right down the street. Yeah. The well, time. euphony will be on here a lot more. Yes. But, um, we're neighbors. Hopefully. Maybe if they don't hate us. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in as usual. The probably five of you that do listen to it ten times.
Thank you for that. But, I don't know. Fuck. I keep saying but. Yeah, but. Why don't you take it away? Well, here's the new song. And suck it down. Yeah. 